favorite test series and that's just not just because he's sitting next to me and we did lose it but was there against South Africa in 09. It just had the balance of everything. Incredibly tight squad, ferocious test series. That second test match we played in Loftus first uh, was the hardest test match I ever played in. And a little bit of a throwback to the amateur era as well where we had this really tight unit of playing Wednesday and some players backing up on Saturday, what the Lions is all about. And I'll never forget running out onto Loftus first half. Then it was a, a stadium that I'd become accustomed to and something I'd felt really comfortable playing at. And as we're running out of that tunnel, I just see the sea of red. And from a South African point of view, you sort of like you shell shocked. Must get this and does. The first 15 minutes, 20 minutes of that game, you know, we just didn't know where we were. That was actually the experience of the Lions, you know, the thousands of fans, you know, coming down to your country and backing up their own players. Something I do want to forget from that game is the unbelievably sneaky line he ran. Space to Korea. Oh, had Banner been sliced open before, and the Lions have been sliced open again. I came up and made this unbelievably bad read. And he slipped in the side and, and, and uh, under yeah, the post, yeah, I was yeah. like, was can't like, believe I've had yeah. the, I've been hoodwinked. Nah. There were many moments throughout that tour. Uh, it happens, the, you know, but happens. listen, I was as guilty as everyone, you know, like, oh God, I remember thinking, <laughs> I saw it. I've, we've, we've rehearsed this. Is he about to write his name into the rugby history books? He most certainly is. The wait is over for South African rugby. Anyway, I've forgotten about it, so I'm, I'm, I'm totally okay with this, you know, all's, it's all, all's well.